Welcome to the jungle. Just kidding, we're still here at Memphis Zoo with my favorite bird of all time. This is Ginny, and she's loudly saying hello to you too. So there are four birds in this exhibit that we call backflight. These that we're gonna be talking about are yellow cast hornbills. So she has the crazy red feathers over here. That's how you can tell she's the girl. And her brother, who is the male, is hiding behind us. So it's Harry and Jenny. If any of you guys are a Harry Potter fan, that's what they're named after. So these guys are so interesting. Finding five facts about them is super easy. So the first one, just a little fun stuff about birds. So you guys can see that she's holding a grape. That's actually because she wants me to take it. So birds, when they're building relationships with other birds or people, or whomever they choose, they actually want to regurgitate food or pass food back and forth. So you sharing your snacks at lunch is what Ginny's trying to do here. She wants me to share this grape with her. These guys also, when they build relationships, they do something that's called preening. So she will take her beak. Thank you. And she'll go up and down and up and down and she'll clean other birds' feathers or my skin just to build trust and to build a friendly relationship. These guys can be found in the west coastal areas of Africa. So these guys love the heat. Yes. She's a very vocal bird and a very happy bird. She is six years old and her brother behind us is four. These guys are a part of a family called hornbills. So you can see there on Harry, he has this big kind of horn on the top of his beak. That's what makes these guys hornbills. That horn is actually called a cast. And it's meant to be used for fighting when they see a girl that they both like so that he can pick the girl. And they're also meant to make that loud, loud sound that she's making echo as far as possible. So that cast is why they're called yellow cast hornbills, but it's really just an adaptation on their beak. Yes, I see you. Uh -huh. Another really fun thing about hornbills is their nesting behavior. It's unlike any other bird. So what these guys do when they mate, and they are monogamous, when they find a mate, they will actually bring her food all year long. The male will bring her food all year. And that's to prove to her that when he, time for nesting, that he can provide. So he will actually kind of shove his mate into a hole and they'll cement it off with silt and some fecal material and anything he can find. And he'll leave a teeny, teeny, tiny hole where he will bring her food so that she can feed the chicks and her for the entire time that she's nesting. And they do that so they can make a completely predator-proof nest. So his mate and his chicks are safe while he goes and finds them food. The fourth fact about these guys, thank you, is that they are vulnerable, which means they're almost endangered. So on the list of how you rank an animal and their population status, she's one step from being endangered. So these guys are really important that we take care of their habitat and make sure that poaching is held not against these birds. Right, Jenny? Yes, right, Jenny. My last and favorite fact probably about these guys is that there's only four, of, four yellow cascaded birds in the US. So it's her parents and her and her brother that are only here that you can see. So if you ever want to come see Jenny and Harry, they're here at the Memphis Zoo in Backlight right here in our tropical birdhouse.